Hey guys, quick video for you today. Jesus talks a lot in scripture about being careful how we judge. Judge not lest ye be judged. Take the log out of your own eye before inspecting the mote in your brother's eye. And the problem that I find in overzealous legalistic Christianity today is that people are so busy trying to inspect the mote in their brother's eye trying to criticize the lives of everyone else, trying to root out the false convert in everyone else, that many times they miss the fact that there's a huge log hanging out of their own eye and that it may just be that the false convert that they're looking for in everyone else is actually themselves. And if more people took the words of Jesus to heart, and allowed judgment to start with them and their lives before being so quick to judge everyone else around them, um, I think there would be far fewer distortions of the gospel message. There would be far fewer people that were pointing people to the law of Moses for salvation and justification. And there would be a lot more humility uh, among those claiming the name of Christ. Because remember that the purpose and the job of the law, guys, is not to justify, it is not to sanctify, it is not to glorify, it is not to give you victory over sin. The job of the law, according to scripture found in Romans chapter 3 and elsewhere, is to condemn you, to silence all mouths as guilty before a holy God. Um, it cannot do anything but that. It can condemn you. It can show you just how sinful you are. It can reveal your sin. It can increase the trespass. Um, but it has no power to justify, to sanctify, to glorify, or to save. Um, that's not its purpose. Its purpose is to condemn. Its purpose is to reveal sin. And if we started our judgment with ourselves, and before being quick to beat other people with the law, applied the full standard of the law to our own lives first, there would be many more people who would come to the end of themselves and realize that salvation must be by grace and it must be a free gift. Because if more people applied the free uh, the, the full standard of the law to their own lives, there would be more people coming to the understanding that we simply cannot do it, that we cannot achieve it, we cannot earn our righteousness. So I want all of us to do that for a minute. I want us to think about the last week of our lives. How many, how many times in the last week of our lives have we looked with lust? Have we lost our tempers? Have we judged unfairly? Have we been unjustly angry, slow to forgive, selfish? How many times in the last week have we given the shirt off of our back, been totally selfless, loved perfectly, put other people always first before ourselves, always made the right decision, always did as Jesus would do, I want us all to judge our own lives honestly. Between you and God, you don't have to come out here and, you know, throw yourselves at the mercy of you two, but between you and God, I want you to judge yourselves by the full standard of the law, honestly. How many times have you, you know, sinned in your heart, in your mind? Have you sinned by, by sins of omission, not doing something that you should have? How many times have you been lazy and slothful? In the last week, just, just, the, just the last week, how many times has your life looked perfectly like Christ? And I would be willing to imagine that 100% of the people that were doing this today, as I'm speaking, if they were honest, 100% of people would say in the last week their lives did not look like Christ. Because Christ is, a, is an image of perfection. And anyone who's remotely honest with themselves knows that we are not perfect. Even as Christians, even as born again, new creatures, our inner man is perfect. Our new creature is perfect, but we don't exactly live that out perfectly, do we? 
And if more of us came to understand that and applied the weight and standard of the law to our own lives first, there would be far fewer people that were reaching for the fruit of death uh, for justification rather than for God's mercy and grace. Because the purpose of the law, guys, is to kill you, to break you under its weight so that you will set down that stone, that letter that kills, and reach out for the mercy of God. But because people aren't applying the law truly to their own lives first, and they're so busy trying to throw the law at other people rather than start at home with their own affairs, um, there are many false converts out there who claim the name of Christ and who have no concept of the gospel message because they haven't been broken by the law. They haven't applied the judgment of the law to their own lives, and they haven't come to the end of themselves. And so I encourage all of us out there who name the name of Christ, start judgment. Start with your judgment at home. Start with yourself and your own life before being so quick to point your finger at others. You might just come to a revelation of God's grace. I love you guys.